You're listening to English with Monty, the podcast about the English language. Today is 8 Minute English, talking about when to use adjectives or adverbs, part 2. Hello there, this is 8 Minute English and we're talking about adjectives or adverbs, part 2. I would definitely check out part 1 if you get chance. So here we go with Gideon and part 2. Generally, we would say, yes, it's changing from adjective to adverb. So loud, loudly, perfect, mm -hmm. perfectly, hopeful, hopefully, a few more here. Easy, easily, happy, happily, lucky, luckily. With those ones, I suppose, when you change it to the adverb, you just have to change the Y to an I. So that's yeah. important, isn't it, in terms of spelling? Yeah. And then you've got gentle, gently, comfortable, comfortably, terrible, terribly. So you would remove the E at the end mm -hmm. when you're adding the ly again you've got specific specifically tragic tragically energetic energetically here you would change the ic and and then at the end it's a l l y isn't it so it's double l in this case the example that you were talking about it's come across this later on instead of saying friendly lee you could say amicably couldn't you Why do you need Sam? It's like, it has a slightly different meaning. But if you want, you can use friendly. Just use it, say, in a friendly way. Please, John, speak to me in a friendly way. Not, please, John, speak to me amicably. No, it's not the same meaning. That's true, isn't it? It's perhaps not a good example of that one, isn't it? Because amicably is more about, it's a bit more formal, isn't it? It's perhaps not used in the same way. Amicably being your kind behavior, kind personality. is very an amicable person. Do they say that here? You should change it to amicably. An example here, Salvador introduced himself friendlily, so obviously we wouldn't say that. Salvador introduced himself amicably. I would say that's not correct. It's I'm not, saying. is it? Well, you could, but it's just like different. You don't introduce yourself amicably. No, you? I think that's not quite correct, is it? Did you say, you might say Salvador was an amicable chap. Yeah, you could Everyone got on with him. I think that's probably the way of doing it, isn't it? I don't think it's quite correct there, is it? There's quite a few. You just have to be a little bit careful. Cowardly is another one. Just thought of cowardly. That's adjective. Cowardly person. You're doing it in a cowardly way. Just add way, a lovely way, a friendly way. It's not so difficult. It's just trying to be conscious of that though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think silly maybe is a word that people think that's quite negative, don't they? But it's not really. I'd say it's quite friendly, isn't it? Don't be silly. It's telling somebody off, but politely. Don't be silly. You do something wrong and your grandmother notices and say, oh, don't be silly. It's a bit of a friendly scolding, isn't it? From your grandmother. Say for children often you would say silly, wouldn't you? Exactly. So it's not particularly negative, is it? No. Expanding on the identical adjective and adverb examples, we talked about hard, hardly, so that changes, and fast. We wouldn't say fastly. That doesn't exist, does it? We'd have to say quickly. No. The list you've given me here, they're just the adverbs, but they don't have L-Y. You run fast. You don't run fastly. Wrong is, is wrong because you could have both, wrong or wrongly. You've done it wrong. You've done it wrongly. Both are used and both are correct whatever mm. people say you've done that wrongly done that wrong both are absolutely correct preference for sort of older people older generations say wrongly a preference for younger people to say wrong i think there's no difference and in some cases you have to use one or not the other he was wrongly convicted of the crime you don't say he was wrong convicted of the crime no so sometimes you have to give his wrong so this is a bit wrong too it's worth expanding upon that idea isn't it but that is a very good example with wrong and wrongly rough mm -hmm. i think it's probably a good example isn't it i felt a bit rough this morning mm -hmm. whereas if you said roughly that would have a different meaning wouldn't it it said we met roughly at 12 o'clock which means approximately doesn't it yeah so there's a bit of a difference with that one i think that's quite a good one to highlight Far, look far. Okay, so a few of those don't have L-Y, quite a few. Times and dates, I'll do it first, I'll do it second. Because when would you say first or firstly? That's quite a common idea, isn't it? In a list of things, you could say firstly. Some people say you don't need to. First, I want to tell you this. Second, I want to say firstly, I want to tell you this. Secondly, I want to tell you this. Some people don't like the secondly. It should be firstly, second, third. But I think it's okay. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, first, second, third. As you I, choose. Often in writing, you would say firstly, secondly, thirdly, wouldn't you? Perhaps more commonly. Yeah, but some people don't like it. Some people argue that it's not correct. 
But I say yes, it is. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Yep, it's fine. Mm. I thought I would add a few things to make it a bit clearer on how it would work in terms of an adverb or an adjective. After a linking verb, that's an important thing to look out for. So a linking verb can be something like be, become, or seem. For example, you would say he seems tired, the view is beautiful, the weather became cold, and my cat is black. So all of these would be linking verbs. These particular verbs are not actions, but instead link the subject to the adjective, the noun or the phrase, and gives more information about the subject. So it's always important to remember to use an adjective after a linking verb. Although this can be a bit difficult as some verbs can be used as both normal verbs and as linking verbs. One thing you can do is replace the verb with the same form of be and see if the sentence still makes sense. If it does, the verb is being used as a linking verb and so needs an adjective, not an adverb. For example, he smells the hot soup carefully. Here we're talking about the action of smelling and using smell as a normal verb. So we need an adverb. The soup smells good. Here we can use smell as a linking verb to describe the soup. We can replace smells with is and the sentence still makes sense. So we need an adjective here. He looked tiredly at the dirty kitchen. Here we are talking about the action of looking and using look as a normal verb. So we use an adverb to describe the way of looking. You look beautiful. Here we are using look as a linking verb to give more information about the person. We can replace look with are and the sentence still makes sense. So we need an adjective. It's worth talking about as well with the comparative and superlative forms of adverbs. We use more or most. For example, she sang loudly. She sang more loudly than her friend. She sang most loudly in the class. Many native English speakers are starting to use adjectives where traditionally we need an adverb. Some people think this is incorrect, but it's very common nowadays. He ran quick instead of he ran quickly. This is especially common with comparatives and superlatives. She ran quicker instead of she ran more quickly. So it's up to you what you would like to follow using a more modern form or the more traditional grammar. I would say particularly with writing, it's definitely worth following the traditional form and it's probably better to use the adverb in this case. I would tend to go with that idea and that way you won't make any mistakes. But of course, watch out for native speakers using the form in this more modern way. Any other things here that they've looked at that you wanted to comment on? I think we've covered it fairly well. In your eight minutes to eight minutes, maybe, possibly. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Thank you for helping me out on this one, Gideon. And you've been listening to 8 Minute English.